It's part prison and part research facility. The vampires that they're arresting, they're not taking them to jail. They're studying, y'all. Vamp camp is this really scary camp that the LAVTF is sending all the vampires to because we've become too dangerous to be trusted out in the open. It is cold, it is stark, it is jail. I mean, it's literally like walking into a prison. It has these really narrow corridors that make you feel claustrophobic and these big open rooms that are double-decker, and it really captures that feeling of being in a prison. You take this sneaky son of a bitch to camp. Van Camp is something that the government of Louisiana dreamed up, and um, it's Governor Burrell, and he captures a bunch of vampires and does tests and experiments on them, and, uh, and keeps them hostage. So we were directed to do another prison type set and came up with all the finishes of metal and tile and decided to make a circular plan. There's a plan that's based in history called a panopticon and it's a, a round institutional building where they were to observe people in prison cells. The idea was if you build something in a circle that you could have a bunch of prisoners in a building, and if you had a circle around them, they would always have the feeling that people are watching them. It's so spooky and so, like, kind of horrifying. But the idea was that the guards could look out in any direction, but you wouldn't know where they were looking, and so you always had the feeling that they were looking at you. I'll start with the big room. It's the, we call it the gen pop room. It's the main room where all the prisoners are held. And we have these morgue drawers, which we thought would be interesting. And we figure the vampires sleep in those and that way they're out of the way. And then upstairs, the guards are walking and they are actually the ones who are caged in for protection. And then the idea that you can see through that level, through the walkway, was really fun. And I was walking above on the grates and just like looking down and it's, um, it's just a, a creepy place. It's very overwhelming in, in places. You have UV lights and you have silver doors and you have all sorts of th mechanisms that you would want if you were actually containing vampires. The vamp camp set is so extensive and kind of ominous that even now after shooting on it for a couple of weeks, I still can't find my way around. Because you do, you feel like you, you get lost and you get trapped. Actually, my favorite space is not even the one that I spend that much time in, but it's the hallway that you walk down and you see these different rooms where they're performing different interesting tests on vampires. So it's, it's kind of cool and creepy to walk down that hallway. It's such an interesting concept that the um, humans would decide to experiment on the vampires and actually learn what makes them function and what their certain traits are. They wanted these labs where the prisoners would be tortured or examined. And so we tried to find ideas that would be kind of banal, you know, an eye exam. But then you look at the machinery that's involved in that, and that just speaks of horrible things. <laughs> and then we have the vamp fight room. It's a, a fight club room. We call it the white room, where the vampires actually go at each other and fight and learn which um, vampire is stronger than the next. There's something about that white room. It was something that was given to us. Like, we need a white room, and we want it really tall. And they can't have any windows, and it has to be all white, and they're going to fight in it. It was a challenge, that room, for sure, just to make something interesting that's all white and is like a coffee can, in a sense. And then we go to the therapist room. That room, we wanted to make a little bit less metal, a little bit more warm. So it kind of has like kind of a mid-century modern feel to it. I love the hamster wheel that they're running on. <laughs> that was really hilarious. All in the name of science, huh? Suzuki's work is incredible. I mean, it was so exciting to walk onto the sets and see Vamp Camp kind of come to life. I love it when they have it lit. It's beautiful. Like, you could almost use it as a Halloween kind of haunted house. I think sets look best when they're lit. Until you have lights on it, kind of denoting the key points and making it interesting, then it really doesn't come to life. So when the lights come on, yes, it's, it's really great. Mm -hmm. 